Hey, so I got a few requests to do how to prepare for a reborn baby. So if you are getting your very first reborn baby, first of all, I want to say congrats because it's such an exciting time. Um, and you really don't need too many things. These are maybe, I'm going to try to do like the most basic things that you would want to buy for a reborn. And you don't even have to get all of these things. But this is baby Patricia, and she's a silicone reborn. She's got more flexibility in her limbs, but she's got the reborn body, the um, cloth body. And um, one of the first things you might want to get for your new baby is a place for it to lay. So I got this basket from Hobby Lobby. I don't think it still has a tag on it. But I got it for like half off. So it was maybe around like $12. So you don't have to get a basket that expensive. You could get a laundry basket. You could get um, a cheaper wicker basket. Whatever you want. And then another thing you'll want to get is to protect your baby is a nice blanket. And you'll want to have a nice blanket for your baby anyway to wrap them up and cuddle in. So have a basket and a blanket. And then your baby, I don't know, depending on where you get it from, might come with an outfit or two. So, um, let me show you, like, I'm getting a new baby, so this is kind of like what I've been doing, too, to prepare for my new baby, because sometimes it's fun to get new stuff for a new baby, my sleepy kitty Maya, and I have this box to keep, um, her stuff in, so it might be nice to have a box to keep your baby's stuff in, or a shelf or something like that, and, um, these are just a few basics, like a receiving blanket, you can have a receiving blanket and a big blanket, or just one blanket, it's fine. Um, you might want a bottle for your baby. Just any um, baby bottle will do. And um, I have a video up on my channel that shows you how to seal, seal and fill a um, reborn baby bottle so that you can use it and it will not leak or, or um, spoil. You might want to get a pacifier for your baby. Some will probably come with it, but if you want more, you can get a pack. And then, um, I also, well, I don't know if I have as much of a video on modifying a pacifier, but you'll just cut up, cut off the nipple once you get it and buy a magnet. They have them at Walmart, like four for a dollar, or no, it's like four for four dollars or something. And, um, You'll, you'll put the magnet on the baby's face, and you'll see where the magnet is, and you'll glue the pacifier to the magnet, and you can find videos on how to do that. So you'll want to get pacifiers, a bottle, a blanket, and you'll want to have, like, a special outfit for when they come home, and a special toy. This is baby Melissa's special toy. And then, if you're having a girl, you might want to get her a bow. Um... A girl or boy, you might want to get them hand mittens so they don't scratch their face if they're newborn. Um, might want some hats. You don't have to have any hats, but my new baby coming is going to be a hat baby. So I got some hats for her. And I have a special bee outfit for her. And then I made a tutu. So that's all I have for her besides her clothes. So here's some clothes that she has. You don't have to get a lot of clothes. You can go and you don't have to get them brand new either. At first I didn't, I got all mine used, but then I started finding good deals on non-brand new ones. And I started preferring new over um, used, I don't know why, but I just did. Because I didn't want to get as many clothes, I just wanted a few special clothes for baby Melissa. So I got her all new clothes. Um, but anyway, you'll just want like a couple outfits and a couple pajamas. And then, um, once you have a reborn, you'll realize that it's easy to expand your clothing selection. It's hard not to, actually, but this is all you need in the beginning. is like something that can work for pajamas. This works for pajamas. And then I got, um, this is like a onesie. And you might want to come up with a theme for your new baby. Um, my theme for Melissa, baby Melissa, is just kind of like a baby pink and, and coral. This is probably, you might want to get one outfit that you really like. Um, that'll be their coming home outfit. Since Melissa will probably be coming home in the afternoon. Um, the first outfit I'll probably change her into is this. It's kind of like a gown with a hat. So it'll work for playtime, bedtime. Then I got this kind of outfit. 
And it depends on what time of the year you're getting your baby, whether you'll want to get um, summer or winter clothes, or fall or spring. And it depends where you live, too. You might live in a place where you don't need to seasonal clothes, but I live in a place where you do. And so here's some um, four long sleeves. So you can see most of her stuff is long sleeves and warm because we're going into fall slash winter here. So that's all I have for her. And then she's going to get a few gifts from her aunties. So you don't really need much. Like all that would be plenty. But it's really fun. Once you have a reborn, you'll see that when you go to the store, you can't help but look at baby stuff. And you just want to add more and more. You have to tell yourself no a lot and um yeah so that's what I would say you would need to prepare oh and one other thing I forgot are diapers um you can buy just like one pack of diapers I used to sell diapers I could say you could get them from me but I don't really have any for sale anymore um but you'll just want a few diapers for your baby um they you might not even have to get any because your baby might come with some but if you want to get a pack, you can just get like a cheap pack of Loves or something because those smell really good and they're good diapers. So that is what you would need for a new reborn baby. Thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions on what you would need for a new reborn baby, you can just ask in the comments below. I actually forgot a couple things. Um, you might want to get some baby powder to put in their diaper. Um, you'll need a hairbrush and hair bow if the baby has um, rooted hair that it's not painted on. Or you might just want them for props even if you do have a painted hair baby. And you might want to get some conditioner if you have a rooted baby. I like using this Honest stuff but you can't buy it in the store. So you can just buy a regular Johnson's baby spray. Just make sure it's for babies and um, you should be good. You might want to have like a little book for your baby. This is a book for baby Patricia right here. Um, that you might want to read, and it's kind of a lovey too, so, so they can play with it. Um, that's about all the things you would really need um, for a reborn baby. And play with your your book. She loves it because it's crinkly. So, thanks for watching.